Now, don't adjust your sets. I'm not testing out the trail fly again from, in, well, I am testing out the trail fly, but uh, this time it is the trail fly's lighter, racier brother, the trail fly speed. Now, the two shoes are very similar looking wise, apart from this one coming in this very bold, bright blue and yellow colorway. But if you've seen my two recent first impression videos featuring Innovate's Mud Talon Speed and the Trail Fly, then you'll know that I was really impressed with how the shoes perform for me. And I'm really enjoying all the new changes that the brand has made to its trail running lineup in 2024. So without further ado, let's give you guys some information on the new Trail Fly Speed, and then we're gonna be hitting the trails of Cornwall and testing them out. Welcome back everyone. Hope you're having a great week full of running adventures. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. So recently we uploaded the first race day video of 2024 where myself and Liga headed up country and I took on the trail events Lulworth Cove Ultra Marathon and Liga ran their challenging 12K. Now this is a beautiful route. Uh, the Ultra was just under 34 miles in distance with over 2000 meters of elevation elevation and some pretty steep climbs and some pretty steep descents. We had some very changeable weather on the day and probably the muddiest, slippiest underfoot conditions I've ever had in an ultra marathon. Uh, we had fun and games along the way and it, I loved it. It was a great race. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description for that video in case you want to check it out. Right, let's get back to the trail shoe in question, the new Innovate Trail Fly Speed. Now, I don't know whether it's just me, but looking at the shoe, I reckon if, if a Hoka running shoe and an Ultra running shoe got together, dated for a while, and then maybe got up to some mischief and had a love child, I think it would look just like these. I think it, it must be the yellow and blue colorway. It's very Hoka-esque. And obviously with Innovate having this new anatomical design, uh, the width in the toe box and the fit is very much like an Ultra shoe. But anyway, I digress. Let's give you a few facts about the new Trailfly Speed. First up, they retail here in the UK for £10 more than the standard Trailfly at £140. Because this version has been designed to be that lighter, more nimble, racier trail shoe, we've got less cushioning in that midsole construction. So we've got a stack height of 22mm at the heel, 18mm under the forefoot, giving you a 4mm heel offset. So 2mm lower than the standard Trailfly just to sit you closer to the ground to make you feel a bit more connected underfoot. And then last up, let's talk all about weight because I've got to be honest, I was pretty surprised when I popped the shoe on the scales and it told me that they weigh 300 grams. Now, firstly, I thought that was pretty heavy for a shoe that Innovator are, are pushing as a, that lightweight, nimble, racy trail shoe. And secondly, it's only 14 grams lighter than the standard trail fly. And I thought there'd be a much bigger weight difference between the two shoes say 30 or 40 grams so it's going to be really interesting to see how different the shoes feel fit and perform out on the trails the upper design definitely looks and feels a bit more stripped back than the standard trail fly and it's actually been constructed out of one piece of air mesh material so making it very breathable and highly comfortable uh, over the top of that air mesh we've got innovates met cradle stripes so they connect the midfoot to the heel giving you that nice locked in secure feel when you pull those laces down tight around your midfoot. Just like the trail fly upper, the speeds get a nicely padded gusseted tongue and we've got the same very soft and flexible ankle collar and heel cup design. The overlays continue around the lace eyelets and wrapping around that toe box just for a bit of extra durability and we've got a good level of protection up front from a nice substantial toe bumper and then finishing up you get the same handy heel loop and lace system as that standard trail fly so you can see what I mean the two models are very similar midsole construction utilizes the same power flow pro foam as the standard trail flight like I've already mentioned you do get a little bit less of it in the speeds but don't worry because inside are the brilliant bouncy boomerang footbeds from Innovate. So that should add a, a little extra layer of plushness and comfort. And then if we flip them over, 
we pretty much got the same outsole design as on the standard trail fly. So we've got this four mil multi-directional lug pattern, forward facing chevrons on the front, reverse facing chevrons on the heel, and that's all been clad in Innovate's updated graphene grip rubber. We've also got that Metaflex groove at the forefoot. So just like the trail fly, the speeds are very flexible at the midfoot and in the toe. So there you have it folks, the brand new trail fly speed. And you can see what I mean by there's lots of things that cross over between the two models and the shoes are very similar. And maybe for my liking, they're a bit too similar. I think it'd be good if there was more differences when it comes to the weight, the cushioning and the upper, just to stand the two shoes apart. But we've reached that time in the video where we need to get these laced up and we need to get running. So we'll see you guys out on the trails. Okay, so another pretty bleak day here in Cornwall. What with it being really overcast, we've got that miserly damp air, and there is a strong cold wind blowing, so hopefully you can hear the audio okay. Seems to have been miserable weather-wise in Cornwall for a long time, and we are definitely due a longer spell of nicer weather. I'm like a lizard, you know, I, I need the sun, my body moves better, and it recharges my batteries and gives me extra energy. But that's enough of me being very British and moaning about the weather. Let's get back to the shoe. So I'm ducking down to get out of the way of that strong wind, but I forgot to mention back at the studio about the fit of the Trailfly Speed. So the shoe is only available in a wide fit, whereas a lot of the other new shoes from Innovate have different options from precision, standard, and wide. Uh, I went up half a size to a UK 10, and it is fitting fine on length, so I would say they still size up a little bit small, definitely noticing the extra width and I've had to pull those laces down a lot tighter to try and get locked down around my midfoot and maybe I'm still feeling this a little bit wide for my foot shape but my foot is quite narrow so again I think it would suit runners that do have a wider sort of midfoot or forefoot width. I'm going to actually retie the laces to pull them down a bit tight around my midfoot because I do feel like I've got a bit of slippage within the upper. Two and a half miles done so far. We're going to try and get in eight, nine, ten miles today, hopefully. So, so far, so good. Okay, so I stopped and pulled those laces down tight feels uh, a lot better around my midfoot now. I'm not sliding and slipping around in the upper, but it did leave me with some long, long shoelaces that I had to sort of triple tie to get them out of the way. up even more and it's starting to mizzle again so let's seek a bit of shelter in here oh oh that's better so we are just coming up to seven miles in the run and like i say the shoe's still running well but at home in the studio i was saying how similar the two shoes were and i thought innovate would have made them quite different but now i'm out here on the towns running in them i am noticing some big differences so like i said earlier the wide fit in the trail fly speed is definitely a lot wider than the standard fit in the standard trail fly. I'm also noticing that you've got that lower stack height. So I'm definitely feeling a lot less cushioning in that midsole. I feel closer to the ground and I'm feeling a lot more stones and rocks coming through that midsole compound. And the other thing is, this is a four mil offset 
and the standard trail flies is six mil offset, but it does feel a lot lower in the heel. I would say that the trail fly speed sort of runs more like a zero drop shoe. So like I said, we're seven miles into the run. So I've got about a mile and a half to get home. So let's make it back to the studio. And then we're going to wrap this video up with a quick conclusion on the new trail fly speeds. So today's run was a perfect example of a running shoe performing very differently to what you're expecting. And you never really know how a shoe's gonna run until you've got it on your feet and you're outside running in it. When I looked at the Trailfly Speed and tried them on indoors, I thought it was gonna perform very similar to that standard Trailfly that we tested and reviewed the other week. However, that really wasn't the case. And there's definitely one of the models that I prefer and one of the models that works better for my foot shape. We managed 8.4 miles in the end, so a pretty good distance in a brand new shoe straight out of the box. And I personally think one of the biggest differences for me is obviously the trail fly speed is only available in the wide fit option. So I definitely had a, a lot more room and width in the toe box compared to my trail fly speeds in a standard fit. However, having quite a narrow foot shape, I'm not sure it was too much width. And I did feel kind of lost in the toe box there and a little bit disconnected from the shoe. And if I'm honest, it was more like sort of running in a pair of flippers than running in a pair of trail shoes. I also noticed towards the end of the run that maybe the trail fly speed size slightly differently to the standard trail fly. So what I did when I got home, I popped both models on my slightly longer foot and I think the trail fly speeds do size up a bit longer. So I had a little bit more length in the toe box. Uh, I've got both shoes in a UK 10. Uh, so maybe a UK 9.5, which I normally take in most of my running shoes, would have worked better in the trail fly speeds. Because in this UK 10, I did have to pull that midfoot down really, really tight to stop any sort of in-shoe movement. And I had to pull it down so tight that the upper started to pucker up at the bottom of the laces. And I'm never a big fan of when that happens. This is something that's happened to me a few times in the past with wide fitting shoes. So I'd maybe suggest sticking with your standard sizing in the trail fly speeds. However, I would still recommend going up half a size in the trail fly in a standard fit because my pair in a UK 10 work great for my foot shape and fit perfectly on length. Another thing I was really surprised about was how stripped back this midsole felt, even though it is a very similar construction to the trail fly. So we've got that same Powerflow Pro foam, obviously less of it, but the same foam. We've got the same Meta Plate rock plate, and we got a pair of the brilliant Boomerang footbeds inside the upper. However, it did feel quite different underfoot. I would say if you like the feel of the ground under your feet and you want to feel super connected and dialed into the trails, then this is probably the shoe to go for. However, I did find I had to sacrifice a fair bit of comfort to achieve that. So for me, I actually like the deeper stack height of the trail fly. I think it felt quite a lot more comfortable, especially when you're on longer sections of tarmac or hard compacted trail. Outsole wise, they are pretty much identical in both models. So I had no real issues running across the Towns today. Uh, on the rocky sections of the trail I had to run, it was damp in the air, so they were a bit greasy. And this graphene grip rubber offered me good levels of grip. So I think Innovate may well have improved the performance of this in wet conditions. And then this four millimeter lug pattern gave me good levels of traction on all the loose gravelly trails and in the soft sand. Now having run a similar distance in both models, there is definitely a standout clear favorite for me and you can probably already tell which shoe I prefer and it is the trail fly in a standard fit. Now a lot of these decisions are based on just personal foot shape preference but I just think this shoe in a standard fit works so much better for my foot shape. So really good lockdown around my midfoot and I don't have to pull those laces down too tight good hold in the heel, and I've got no foot movement within that upper at all. So it just makes me feel a lot more connected to the shoe. So I feel more responsive, more nimble, and overall just more comfortable running in it. I also think the fact that there's not a great deal of difference when it comes to the weight of the two models, so about 13 or 14 grams, yet you do get a noticeably deeper stack of soft cushioning in that midsole, just makes these a, a more versatile trail option for me. I'd have no issues taking these for longer efforts on the trails whether it be racing or training and I think I could run the trail flies up to any distance however 
I think I would be a bit limited when it comes to the trail fly speeds, just because of that lack of cushioning and underfoot protection. So wrapping up after my first run, I would say if you're the type of runner that likes to feel super connected to the trails underfoot, you're fed up with trail shoes getting softer and softer and deeper stacks of cushioning, and you want that sort of natural foot shape, feel and fit, then I would say you probably really like running in the trail fly speeds. Uh, I really did feel like they, they perform very similar to an ultra running shoe. Even though we've got a four mil heel offset on these, it did feel like I was running in a zero drop shoe. But if you'd be happy to sacrifice a bit of that ground feel, and it is only a bit because the trail fly still felt nicely connected, then maybe this is the shoe for you. Yes, there is a bit of an increase in weight, but for that small amount of weight gain, you do get a lot more midsole comfort. And I can see myself racking up a lot of miles in these this year. However, I'm not sure I'll be doing the same thing in these. So there you have it folks, my first impressions of Innovate's trail fly speeds. Really hope you enjoyed the video, really hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe because it really is a big help to the channel. And also while you're there, hit that bell icon because then you'll be notified when we upload any new running content. And we've got some great, exciting running content heading your way over the next couple of weeks. So you really don't want to miss out. But until then, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, it's really appreciated. We'll be back very, very soon, and as always, stay safe and keep on running. Kind of find pretty odd, so I thought there'd have been a bigger difference in the weight between the two shoes, say this was there, there. That's enough of me being very British and moaning about the weather. Let's get back to the shoe. Oh, wind, eh? The bane of my life.